Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Six Figure Systems Podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about four reasons why I would recommend you start doing things like webinars or presentations or uh, speaking events to market your business. And here are the four reasons just to get us started. They're a great way to nurture your audience. They're also something valuable you can send current leads. It's a great way to get yourself out of your current audience. And I'm going to talk about studies that back all this up. So first and foremost, when you are thinking about doing something like a webinar, you want to do a webinar to two different subsets of people. You want to do it to your audience and to new audiences. And here's why. The first reason I mentioned is that you want to nurture your audience. What I mean by that is when you are thinking about your audience, when you're thinking about the people who are in your sphere, they want to see you in action. They want to see you live. They want to see you working with giving tools to help them. And what will happen is the goal of marketing is to build people's ability to get to know you, like you, and trust you enough to be compelled to take the next action in your business, whether that be like signing up for um, something to subscribe to your email list, or whether that being something just to compel them to even book a consult or a sales call, you always want to be working with your current audience. Something I see that is a misconception for many people who are service-based industries is they are constantly looking and feeling like just because somebody hasn't bought from their audience in a little bit, that they think that their audience is quote unquote dead, that they don't care, that they are they need to find new people and bring in a ton more leads and a ton more humans into their audience. And I don't I would not recommend building a business solely on that because once people come in, they want to be cared for. They want to be supported. They want to be nurtured. So what you want to do is you want to consider that as your audience, they're there for a reason. They are following you. They are subscribing with you. They are connected to you. They are following you for a reason. So that means that they see some sort of value enough to devote their time energy or inbox to your cause, which is extremely valuable because time is a resource you will never get back. So we want to show these people that we are extremely thankful for their time and energy to our business. And we want to make sure that they feel cared for and supported, that they are getting value from you. And the things that you're doing in small increments, like posts, blogs, short videos, Things like that are already giving them value. But if you were to teach something to them that could create a positive result for them, that is going to build so much more trust for them. So that they're like, wow, I really, really enjoy this person. I'm getting so much value that I want to work with them for sure. We don't want them to have a second guess about that. The other thing that I want to offer that's really cool is I've done, I typically do a webinar a month. That's been the trend. Um, but I also have found it's really, really exciting because I have many people that have told me many times that they're like, I've gotten so much value from this that I am going to go ahead and use the value that you've given me on this webinar to make money and come back and work with you. Because if this is how good it is for free, then I can't even imagine how awesome your program is. And so that's how your people might be feeling as well. So you want to make sure that you are nurturing them and giving them a ton of value. Those people will be experiencing what I like to think about is a quick transformation, a mini transformation during the webinar, and they're going to be able to grow and be able to really want to work with you, be compelled to taking action. It's also something that they will go and maybe could utilize to help more people, which is always what we're go our goal is. And it's also something they might tell other people about. I've had people come to my webinars and randomly I'll get like a consult of someone who wasn't at the webinar, didn't register it for it. And someone who came to the webinar that didn't even book a consult told them about the webinar. And they were like, oh my God, you need this. 
like you should sign up to work with Megan. And I'm like, wow, that is awesome. So you definitely want to start doing those things as a way to nurture your audience. And I just want to give this a caveat. I love teaching. I love presenting. It is definitely something that I feel really confident at because I was a teacher. But as you never have to do these kind of things to um, market your business if you're not comfortable with speaking or things like that. But I would say it is a really like the, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm like, I think it's a per a pretty compelling reason for you guys to get started doing this as well. You never, if you work with me, you don't have to do a single webinar presentation, live event, anything like that. And by live event, I mean like going into an organization and giving a presentation live. You never have to do any of that if you don't want to, but I do think it's been a really, really effective way to bring people in. And that's why I'm telling you guys about it. The other thing, so one of the four reasons to do webinars to to market your business is it's great to market, nurture your audience, like I just said. The second reason is it's a great way to send something valuable to current leads. So whenever I am talking with somebody online, one-on-one -on -one in a DM, I'm getting to know more about their business. I'm getting to know more about them, just like you guys are getting to know about your people and why they are in your audience at all to begin with. When we are thinking about those people, they want to get value from you. They want to see that, like, build that belief in you that, like, you actually could support them. So when we're thinking about that, you also want to give them value as you're talking with them. So one of the things that I will do is I will ask people about different aspects of their business. And I'll be like, hey, like, what is... um do you have an offer right now? Currently I have these two offers. I'm like thinking about bringing in some more offers and people will be like, Oh, I actually don't really know if I have an offer. I don't have a single offer. I kind of like do sessions one-on-one. -on -one. I like have maybe I like, I've had people tell me that they've got like up to seven different offers. And I'm like, Oh, wow. That is interesting. And just so you guys know, my personal philosophy on it is that I would recommend that you have a single offer until you make six figures and then branching out to different offers for there for many reasons that you have a cash flow, that it's easier to market, that you get really good at sales, you get really good proof of concept. There are many reasons why I recommend that. But if I was talking with somebody in their in the DMs and I was like, hey, I I hear that, wow, that's really interesting that you've got seven offers. That's really cool. I, and if they're like, I hate it and I don't know like what I, it's like, I would like to just have one offer, but I just feel really overwhelmed by it. I'm like, oh, I've gotten, I have a webinar called the love your offer webinar. Would do you want me to send it your way? I totally can. And then they're like, oh, this is great. You know what I mean? It's like, they're like, oh, wow, this is so valuable. I love like, I want to continue the conversation with Megan because every time that she does, I get value. So this is something, another reason why you could start doing webinars to market your business is it's a great thing to send potential current leads. The third reason to that I would highly recommend starting doing webinars, presentations, or like in-person events to market your business is to get out of your current audience. When you are building your business, there are two things that you need to do within growing your business when you're marketing it. You need to nurture your current people and you need to bring in new people. When you are trying to get out of your current audience, it's a great thing to offer value to a group of your population of your people and give a presentation. So what I would like if when I was doing career coaching, I gave presentations at a corporate level to different corporations because I was doing career coaching and I felt like it could be valuable for them. When I also was doing career coaching, I or just general life coaching pretty much, is I went into um, different networking groups and I did one for New York City for women in television and communications and I did a presentation for them about how to take back their time. I also went into universities and I pitched myself to them. And I was like, hey, I would love to do a presentation for them. Actually, in 2021, I did um, I pitched myself in doing presentations to 102 different organizations and six took me up on it, which was really cool. So I 
gave um, a presentation to students who are freshmen at my alma mater, NC State, go pack. Um, I also gave different presentations to women's organizations on campus. And I also did a presentation for, um, for a friend of mine. She was trying to get her business off the ground. So I collaborated with her and I did a presentation with them. I also, these were all in person. I did virtual webinars with other coaches that were niche adjacent that were also really helpful. I would also do like Instagram lives where I would teach and present um, topics as well to different, um, again, niche adjacent people as well. So niche adjacent for me, she was helping people who didn't have a business, but knew they wanted to start a business. She was a great coach for them. And I was like, after you know what you want to do, I'm a great fit. So that's why she was niche, niche adjacent. I also talked with a money coach because that was niche adjacent to my general life coaching. I did a dating coach because it was niche adjacent. Um, and there are many ways that you can pitch yourself to other people and do presentations for their audience. And there are people from their audience that could find find you really, really valuable. It's just great for them because they're getting you to help their people, but it's also great for you because then you get access to a new pot of people. Those people might follow, subscribe, and then you can nurture them so that then they can become clients. The last thing I want to offer with why I would recommend doing webinars to market your business is that on average, this is a study and I'm going to explain the caveat with the study. But there have been some research that has been done that it takes on average seven hours of content to build belief for a potential client to take the next action and buy. This study is based actually on a relationship study. So it's not necessarily looking at people in the marketing in your business because the study is based on friendships. And how long does it take to build a friendship? And the average it says for that is about seven hours. That isn't, so it's a correlation. It's not necessarily a causation. It's not necessarily proven, but it is something that you can keep in mind. And if you're like, okay, seven hours of reading my content, that might take somebody, me, a year to produce said content and a year for people to like actually read that and get that amount of value to buy. If you condense that, I'm not saying you have to do seven webinars in one month right away, but it is a certain thing that could really build, be used to build belief for your audience. And if you think about it, whether you are nurturing your audience or you are networking and building relationships, outreaching to new audiences, what happens is you are putting yourself at, in a subset of a population that you could really help. You are positioning yourself as a leader, as a person that people want to buy from already in a subset of people that you help. So it's really, really great what we call positioning because you're positioning yourself as an elevated um, person with expertise that can be used to support people. So the four, that is one of the really re good reasons people will build belief. They'll be like, wow, this organization brought this person on. It automatically gives you, especially with people outside of your current audience, like immediate clout to be like, this is awesome. We want to work with her because I trust by proxy. I trust the person who I'm listening to and who I'm already a part of. I've already opted in to something and by proxy, they will know, like, and trust you too. So today we talked all about the four reasons why I would personally recommend you start doing webinars to market your business and it's to nurture your current audience. It's a great way to send something valuable to current leads. You will also get yourself out of your audience and outreach to new audiences and be able to build a new audience of people. And it's also research-based that people need seven hours of content to build belief. And it's a way that you can provide that pretty easily. So thank you guys all for listening. And I will be seeing you all next week.